Hi you guys. I got a haircut. I haven't cut my hair in so long. I'm excited to make this video and tell you about my birth story with Kofax. I'm really just going to be sharing my own personal experience and none of this is advice but just what I have gone through with my birth and my story. If you haven't seen my previous birth stories of Sandy and Elvis and of Scout, please check them out if you're interested. I'll link them below for you. Let's see, where do I begin? So if you watched my last home birth video um, where I talk about my birth story with Scout, I talk about how I worked with my friend Heather who does these things called mind change sessions and if you haven't seen that video and you're interested to learn what it's about, definitely check it out because I just bring her into the video and she explains what she does so much more eloquently than I could. Watch the video where she talks about it because she's so good at explaining it. She's my close friend. Basically, the type of sessions that she does with people is based on the concept of how the body only does what the brain tells it to do. And I think I'm going to insert a little clip of what the concept is of the mind change method where my friend Heather talks about it just because um, she explains it so much better than I could. Nothing can happen in your body, nothing, without your brain telling it that it's okay. Even though birth is a natural, normal process, the chemicals and the sensations have to go through the brain. Mm -hmm. So it tells your, your uterus to contract. What we do is we help that mind-body connection mm -hmm. in giving you control over it. Right. And you get to decide what you want. So there's a particular part of your brain called the reticular activating system, which means it will look for what you recognize and know. So let's say you're in the market for a new car, you want to buy a blue Jeep, yeah. or you know, and now everywhere you look you see blue Jeeps. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Like, did seriously everyone else go out and buy yeah. a blue Jeep this week? Yeah, yeah. What you're focused on, you look for the most. So if you're looking for stories where to confirm your belief that birth is painful, mm -hmm. you will find yeah. that. Last time when I did sessions with Heather, we worked on what I would like labor to feel like. And comparing to my first two labors, which were extremely painful, if you will, and long and hard, just very hard. Um, I wanted to work on my third labor to be, I wanted to be more in control and I wanted to feel a more positive experience through it. So she had asked me, what do I want labor to feel like? And with Scout's birth, when I was pregnant with my third, I had said I wanted my labor to feel like waves and for them to get stronger and stronger and then this time when I'm pregnant with Kofax um, we came back into the sessions going all right what what do we want to tweak this time because now I'm thinking this is my fourth birth and my last one was so amazing it was such a transformative experience and so different from my first two births that I thought all right wow that really made such a difference in my birth that I wanted to really reach for the stars this time I'm like why not let's just go for like the dream birth that I could ever ask for and ever want. And if you're like watching me for the first time and you haven't seen my previous birth videos, it might be kind of weird that I'm starting off my birth story on like, I'm going to decide exactly how I want my birth to be, but I can't even tell you how transformative this concept has been for me with my births. Such a transformative experience for me. And this fourth birth was truly, truly amazing. So my ultimate goal for this birth was to have a pleasurable labor that felt good and gentle. I wanted to smile and be happy during my labor. I wanted a short labor that was about three to six hours long, and I was looking for for a birth that was gonna happen in natural sunlight during the day or sunset or as the sun rises. All my other births were in the dark. I don't, I don't know why, I just was really feeling like it would be wonderful to have a birth during the day. It might seem silly for someone to be like, why would you care about such a thing? But that's just how I felt. I really would, would was wanting a, a natural light birth. And whereas my last labor, I was focusing on the experiences of labor, not to feel like contracting and contractions because words are really powerful. They're really powerful to the brain. I wanted it to feel like waves and for it to feel like stronger and stronger intensity so that I knew when the baby was coming. And this time I wanted my labor to have waves still rather than focusing on the word contractions, but I wanted the waves to be more of a dropping, softening and opening. And if I could focus my whole body to open and relax and release and be gentle throughout each contraction, right? That's the typical word that most people would use, that that could help my body and my baby to progress quicker and for the labor to be more gentle. Because we all know that when you're in pain, when you tighten things up, which is your natural reaction, that can often make things feel worse. But when you relax into the intensity, it can feel so much better and help things to go smoother. At least that's been my personal experience. So those were my goals. And since I felt so empowered through my last birth, I really felt so confident about this next birth and what was to come. It was such an empowering feeling to have that I knew what was ahead. I knew it was coming and I really felt a total 
trust in the experience. I trust in my body and I was very looking forward to birth because I love birth. I think birth is so wonderful and magical and I just think it's such an amazing experience. I'm really thankful to have had the opportunity to give birth four times. So fast forward to after I do um, a little session with Heather and we chat about what I'd like to focus on for this next birth. I get towards the end of my uh, pregnancy and I start to feel pre-labor waves or contractions if you will which I never had with any of my other births with my other births I only went into labor and didn't stop until I gave birth and it was like within a 24-hour period or in the case of scouts it within an eight-hour period with this one it was so thrown off guard because I started to have these very gentle waves that were so light and so pleasant that were barely noticeable and I could talk throughout them and you know very pre-labor type of signs but it started one to two weeks before I gave birth and I was thrown off by it. I'm like wait am I because I know my goal is for it to be gentle and for it to be pleasurable and to feel good when I'm like this feels good and pleasurable but is it really coming right now or is it that this is just like some pre-labor type of waves turns out they are pre-labor type of waves and and it would come on at night for a little bit and then the, by the morning time they would go away so I kind of just thought nothing over of it after a few days and was like, all right, this is just like my body getting ready and doing a little bit of the work before I experience labor. So my guest date due date was on my birthday, May 13th, but there was another chart that said my guest date or due date was May 17th. And with my three prior births, Elvis was a week early, Sandy and Scout were born on their guest date. So I was expecting to have like the baby be born on my birthday or even before, but my birthday came and went, which was kind of nice. It was nice to still have our family time. We had mothers day we had my birthday still no sign of baby and it was getting closer to where we knew baby was coming soon so I was having these pre-labor sensations I really would describe them as like pleasurable sensations that were coming and going and they were so pleasant and mild then the day before I go into labor we have a family beach day it was so nice and, and just wonderful weather at the beach and my mucus plug came out so we knew that baby was coming soon I messaged my midwife and I just went about my regular activities still and just lounged around the house after our family day and had a nice family day. That night I started to have some more of those pleasurable wave sensations and I thought oh it's it's again similar to what, what it's been the last week or so but the next morning they were still there they were coming and going very consistently and I was starting to think okay this seems like different than it's been before because they're not going away but they didn't get any stronger and they didn't get any more intense they were just so pleasurable but what's funny is that I told Heather when I was talking about my birth that I was imagining and what I was trying to have was that once I realized I was in labor that I would do these few steps to kickstart my labor into happening so that I can give birth within the next few hours and what's funny is that I didn't do that because I wasn't even sure if I was in labor it was just happening all throughout the morning we played a board game with my kids laid outside in the sun on our deck I think we played some basketball in the yard and I didn't really think too much about it because it didn't it just felt so pleasurable and calm that I'm like oh am I in labor I don't know and by that point I ended up waiting so long by the afternoon that it was 1 p.m. and I'm like okay yeah I think I think it's time because <laughs> nothing had changed in the intensity of the feelings they were so barely noticeable but since they weren't going away and they were consistent, it was like coming on every, I don't know, seven minutes or something like that, or five minutes, that I was like, I think that I should just like tell myself, I, I think it's time to go into labor. I had messaged my midwife that morning and had told her how I'm having these uh, sensations or waves and that they were pretty consistent and not going away. So she had a heads up there and I told my doula and also my friend Chelsea who was gonna photograph the birth, but I told them to wait because I wasn't really sure if I was gonna have the baby today because it was just so pleasurable. But then once it got to like one in the afternoon and I realized, okay, this isn't going away. I better just decide I'm gonna give birth and go along with my next plan because I'm like such a planner. If you know who I am, I plan everything in my life. I'm not one of those like spontaneous people that just like go with the flow and just let things happen how they may. I like to plan things and obviously some things in life are out of control like birth, but I felt so in control this time. And maybe it's because it was my fourth baby. Maybe it was because I did some mind work with my friend Heather or maybe a little bit of both. I'm not sure, but I felt very good in control. Like I could decide when I was was gonna give birth and that's kind of what happened with my last birth where towards the end of my labor I realized oh I'm ready to give birth now I'm just gonna go outside and have a contraction then come inside and get in the tub and then I'm gonna start pushing and that's exactly what happened so I reminded myself that that's what I'm gonna do again this time so by like 1 30 I'm like babe it's time I think I'm ready to follow my plan on what I want to do next for kickstarting labor our best friends and us live on the same property together so our kids went over to our best friend's house and 
my plan was that once I realized I was in labor, I wanted to be intimate with my husband and have some quite intimate time. And then I wanted to go on a walk and then I wanted to like give birth. <laughs> so by the time that happened, my husband was like, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm like eating lunch and stuff. And I'm like, no, I want to do this now. Like, come on, let's, let's go have some alone time together. So we spent some really nice intimate time together by ourselves. And then we went on a long walk together about 30 minutes and my waves or contractions, they felt more powerful, but they didn't feel harder. They weren't harder to experience. I was so, I can't even describe it, you guys. Like my entire labor did not feel painful. It felt pleasurable and relaxing and, and not intense. I didn't really even have to work hard in my brain to release and relax everything because I already felt so relaxed. So I called my midwife and my doula and my friend Chelsea, who was gonna film the birth at about 6.15 and I told them to come over and that I was ready and that I was gonna give birth soon. So then they came by 6.30 and within two hours I had given birth, which was so wonderful and euphoric for me that I had such a relaxing birth. I mean, my husband, Andrew, was totally amazed. He, he was like, wow, you, you literally were just so calm throughout your entire labor, which was so different than my previous births, especially my first two. And I wish that I had them on film. I didn't film my first two births. I really wish that I had captured them to cherish those forever, but I definitely had such a different experience with my labor than I did with my previous birth and even my last birth which I didn't describe as pain was still very intense and I had to focus a lot on relaxing to make sure it did not feel painful whereas this one it felt like I was not even trying it felt like I was just opening and softening and I was laughing and I was happy and smiling I didn't even feel like I went through a transition that I did with my previous births it's hard because I'm a little nervous even to share this because I know that there's like so many different types of births and they're all beautiful and all good and I really don't want to discount or put anything out there like this is the way to do birth and any other experience is not as good or not as worthy because I don't agree at all with that because all of my births were transformative in their own way they were really amazing for different reasons and no birth is alike and this was just such a different experience for me than my previous birth it's hard because I want to really just share with you how it really was this way but I'm also nervous because like I guess even in my last time when I shared my last video with Scout some people said they felt like I was just trying to make it seem like all births should be pain-free and just easy like that and that was not my goal at all I'm literally just sharing my experience and what I what I truly felt I just really want to be able to make it clear that like no matter what birth you've experienced and had it's all good it's all beautiful you are you are totally powerful in however you gave birth. And I know that some women feel like they have some trauma from their birth, that they didn't get the birth that they were looking for, that they wanted. And I just feel for you totally and completely. And I just want to validate anyone's experience and how they gave birth. It's important to uplift all of our experiences. I just hope that that's clear. I know I'm not done like sharing my birth experience, but I've been saying over and over about how this birth really was not painful, but actually pleasurable. And I do think it's powerful in and of itself to share more uplifting birth stories so that we can have some positive experiences within people maybe who haven't given birth yet who might often hear so many times that birth is painful birth is horrible birth is like a giant head coming out of your vagina is the worst feeling ever so like those things are valid and real experiences like those are my first two labor experiences but I also think these other births that maybe are different can be really powerful as well which is kind of like the brain body connection of what our brain is telling us that birth is supposed to feel like because all growing up I really was told and I had in my mind that labor was like excruciating and extremely long and extremely terrible but all that said I did go into my first two labors excited and not scared on a conscious level on my conscious level I was very excited for birth and I knew it would be hard but that it would be worth it and the end result is so worth it which is so true and in this case it's just amazing how all my births were so different I think that's the case for so many women where women who have had multiple births have totally different experiences for all of them and I just think they're all important to uplift and validate and it is beautiful to be able to share birth stories that were ecstatic and euphoric and transformative and beautiful and pleasurable like that is not something I was told that that birth could feel like growing up I was not told growing up that birth could feel pleasurable at all and the fact that I experienced a birth like that is just amazing to me. And I really hope that it can encourage other women out there who 
might be pregnant looking forward to their birth that that is just a beautiful story that you can reflect on too that you can reflect on whatever type of birth stories that you would like to anyway sorry that was like a tangent in between my story so basically the entire labor I would not describe as painful at all I felt very in control and happy and blissful and pleasant about 30 minutes after my midwife and doula came I decided to get into the birthing tub that my husband had filled up earlier in that day on the deck which I was so excited to give birth like overlooking the sunset and I got in the birthing tub right as the sun was setting and I had the kids come back to our house just in case I was going to give birth soon to have them nearby and so they came to say hi while I was out in the birthing tub laboring and Scout was so excited. All the kids were so excited. And I had asked um, like Elvis and Sandy prior if they wanted to be present at this birth because they had both been at Scout's birth and Elvis was at Sandy's birth as well. And they were both like, yeah, definitely we want to be at this next birth again. But I had them go inside and play for a little bit. I think they were watching a movie while I was laboring in the birthing tub until I gave birth. So by that time it was like seven-ish, I think. I, I kind of forget. But that's when I got in the tub right before the sun was setting. The sun was setting really late that day, this time of year. And then I felt like baby was coming really soon. And I had a couple really strong contractions that felt like my previous burst, like, whoa, something is happening here. This is intense. You know, the low grunting type of sounds that's in the depths of your throat. <laughs> and I did feel, I probably had like two or three that were like painful contractions where I was like, oh wow, it's, it's coming very soon. And then I would recenter myself and relax my body more into the birthing tub, just like soften my whole body. And then I had a couple waves that, um, that were just very relaxing and pleasurable and then I'm just sitting there focusing on the deck feeling like baby is coming so soon right after the sunset and my husband's sitting there next to me encouraging me and my midwife and my doula are there and my friend Chelsea who I'm so glad was there to photograph the birth she has five kids and she's just like the most amazing goddess mother that loves children so much and she loves birth so such a wonderful presence to have there and she's a great photographer and filmer and it was just so quiet and silent you could hear the cokey frogs at night and it was just it was so peaceful and amazing. And I'm focusing on my body and then I feel that urge to push. It's like this, if you've never given birth before or maybe maybe you haven't had this experience. If you had have given birth before, maybe it feels different for you. But for me, it feels like this impossible, it's like impossible to hold back. Like you feel your body is like, pushing that baby out all on its own. Like I have to push to where I could barely say the words <laughs> because my body is doing all the work, like that type of sound, the low grunting sound. And then the midwife starts, you know, getting things ready, setting things up to where, you know, baby's coming soon, she comes closer. And um, I have a couple really hard pushes where it's like very intense and that ring of fire type of feeling. And then my midwife kind of reminds me of the words to help just help me focus and center myself and relax and to just gently guide baby out and push baby out when I feel it and when I'm ready. And then I have that strong urge again and baby comes out. I think I, I pushed maybe for like 10 minutes. I'm not totally sure about the exact, but it was very short. It was a short amount of time. So then I have like, as baby's coming out, right? Like I'm doing my pushing. I have one really strong push. Oh gosh, that was so intense. That pushing part, there's nothing there's nothing more intense than that and then I have that really strong hard push my midwife I remember she tells me okay baby's baby's head is out you can feel his head put your hand down there and feel his head oh that felt so good to put my hand down there I felt his little soft head and I felt hair I could feel like his little and to this day when I touch his head as soon as I touch the top of his head it brings me right back to birth where I reach down for the first time and touch his head so I'm gonna cry oh it's like it's amazing how your senses can bring you back to that point where you can touch your baby's head and instantly you're brought back to that place where you where you touch your, your baby's head for the first time as you were guiding him out. So I felt his head, my hand was right on his head and I'm just relaxing and trying to catch my breath, focus, just center myself, relaxing, knowing that the next push is coming. And shortly after, I feel that urge to push the rest of his body out and it was really quiet and silent. I remember all the kids are gathered around me because as soon as I felt the urge to push, I had the doula go and get the kids to come out and they were all so excited. If you saw my birth video, oh my gosh, like how Scout, I remember she's telling me, open it, open it, open it, baby's coming soon. And she said the sweetest thing when I was um, pushing and, and I was just really having that struggle moment right at the end where I'm struggling um, and it's so intense and it's totally shifted from that really pleasurable, space to like this is intense I'm excited for this to be over and she just said the sweetest things oh my gosh it's so amazing and Elvis and Sandy were both so excited too I'm just so glad and thankful that like, we could have such an amazing family experience together bringing our fourth baby first side 
So as I push his body out, I pull him up on my chest. Everyone's so excited. It's just so euphoric and wonderful. And I gave birth basically like an hour after sunset. It was so nice to be able to labor on the deck as the sun was setting and get some of that natural light as I was laboring. And I'm really thankful for the entire experience. And I hung out there in the birthing tub for a little bit and then I wanted to get out and um, they helped get me over to my bed in the back of the house. Uh, we checked up on me and the baby. I took a shower, had help from the doula and the midwife, and all the kids got to hold their sweet new little baby brother for the first time. And we always like to wait until the birth to find out whether the baby is a boy or a girl because we really do not need to know us personally beforehand. I think it's a wonderful surprise to find out at birth. It's like when I'm in the highest moments of my life, I love that I get to find out such a special surprise while I'm feeling all those feelings. So that is pretty much my birth story and I'm so thankful. Andrew and I after are looking at each other like, whoa, what did I just do? That was such a different birth. I, I was so pleasant the whole time. That was the word I kept saying. I was like, it was so pleasant. It was just so calm and pleasant and not stressful and beautiful and gentle. And I'm forever thankful for that. And if you're interested in doing any of these mind change sessions, like if this intrigues you or inspires you in any way, she sometimes does online sessions. So I'll put the link to her website below for you to check out if this interests you and you're inspired by it. Maybe this doesn't interest you and maybe it doesn't resonate with you at all. And that's totally fine. This was just my personal experience and I'm forever thankful for it. And I hope you enjoyed this story and I will see you next video.